Good afternoon, most venerable monks, friends in the Dhamma, brotherhood from different traditions, Pali tradition and Sanskrit tradition. This is the last session of our conference this year, from yesterday to today. I've been asked to lead the speaker for two monks beside me. But first of all, I've been also been asked to explain briefly or introduce myself a little bit, because yesterday I didn't say a word about myself. I am Buddhist monks from Thailand, of course, and then I went to England and stayed in England in the temple in Wimbledon for uh, 11 years, uh, uh, sorry, eight years, and then moved to Birmingham for 11 years, and I've been to my place in Staffordshire at the moment for 12 years. So you can see over 30 years in England as a Thai monk in England. Been involved with many uh, temples, activities, and also back to Thailand from time to time to work for the education for the children, and also along with my work as missionary or the Thamatuta monk. At the moment, we have 20 temples throughout England. And we are working together as a council of the Thai Tamatu the monk. Along with the work that I'm doing now, we also create the, the council of Thera, Theravada monks in UK, which is involved with Thailand, about 20 temples, England, about five temples, Burmese, Vietnamese, oh no, sorry, uh, the, uh, Sri Lanka. So each of them about 10 each. So in total, we have over 30 or 40 temples to work together as the Council of the Sangha UK, apart from Thai Monk Council. When we are here together today, and we have four sessions, that today the last session of the, the topic that we intend to talk about it by our venerable monk, Ajahn Chau Kun, Prapothi Nanta Muni, the head of Vatpa Uttakaya. He has been contacting me about this since the only two, two months, that he would like us to put everything together until we learn from His Holiness that he would like to us to use more of the word Pali tradition and Sanskrit tradition. Now we have two monks here, available from Thailand, Than Pra Kru Kanti Palo Pikku. Actually, he is Dr. Kanti Palo or Pakku Palat. So, Rapun. He's going to talk about the, the middle part or the eight fourth part or Makkha. So he going to talk extra from what the the other monks talk from this morning and also from this afternoon. Because our talks or topics so similar with mindfulness, with the uh, uh, Four Noble Truths, and also <coughs> the Eightfold Path. 
So I'm going to hand over for him to talk. It's about, I think it's, uh, we allow 30 minutes, but however, we look, have to have a con uh, talk, uh, discussion and also feedback for our conclusion. And he said at the beginning, he said he don't want to talk that much. So it will be something about 20 minutes should be okay or less. So we got only two speakers. So I would like to hand over to Tan Prakhu, Dr. Kanti Palo Pikku. He got two or three names. So you see him, yes, saw him yesterday and today. So he's going to talk about the Makha. Thank you. Om Muni Muni Maha Muni Sakya Muni Swaha. May all Buddha blessing us success seminar in Wat Pa Dhammachat in India, coordination to be successful. May all monks here go to paradise soon. Onibana? No, just paradise enough. I would like to explain about Ariya Maka, Atankika Maka is briefly, not special, but brief. Because he, he gave me only 20 minutes, I would like to speak three hours. You okay? okay? I can speak four hours. <laughs> I would like to mention about Buddha teaching about Ariya Atankika Maka. And yet, first Buddha sermon, give sermon at uh, Benares Saranak, Dhammajaka Sutta. And the second, the third Dhamma means Anatta, Tama, Ananta Sutta. And the third, Mahaparipana Sutta. Three topics. Maybe after you finish, I expect you will be Arahan soon. Because important topic. Because Buddha said to Five attendants, Kondanya, Wapa, Patiya, Mahanam, Asasi. After finish Dhammachaka Sutta, the first of five attendants will be the first internal or Sotapana. But for five day, Buddha said to Vapa Patiya Mahanama Asasi. There will be Sotapana, the same as the first one. That's why when I finish three volo, you will be Arahan. Hmm? Possible? Maybe. Ante, maybe. Yes, right. Because you are Sanskrit tradition. We are uh, Bali tradition, new, new, new name. <laughs> okay. When the Buddha gives sermon, he talked to extremely, not practice, because not for ascetic or monks. It's for general people who would like to be in the world. For ascetics or monks, not do like that. First is Atakilamatari Yoga, means dosa, addition to self mortification. If you torture your body, practice standing, 
one leg. I am the first one. My leg, one leg, no, not two legs. One leg, standing hard. Help me, I would like to succeed in my life. I would like to be alhan. If I can stand longer and longer, give wisdom to me. And then he stand again and again and again and again until his hand becomes strong like a hammer because not lay down, just point in the sky. This Buddha said is torture himself. Buddha practiced many times about torture himself until he, he stopped eating. He fell three times, and then he realized, oh, this is not a good way to practice. He gave up and come back to eat. Five attendants, look at why, monk. You become a, like a normal people. You practice lesson, not good, not success, not be a hunt. Why you do like that? Oh, plan. Don't say like that. I'm so hungry. So hungry. Oh, very terrible. You don't know. Hungry is terrible. You don't starve like me. If you do like me, you know what is suffering. Oh, don't mention it. I don't like you anymore. I have to go. My friend, we are walking to Berenice, five atten attendants, attendants going or oh, went to Saranath, <laughs> left Buddha alone. When Buddha alone, he considered himself, why I am tortured myself too much? It's not the right way. And then he think when he was a young, a young boy. He was, he, he did meditation under um, Champu, Cham, one, one tree, I don't know the name of the tree. Champu tree, like that. And he make miracle. The shadow of the sun can move anymore. It's one o'clock already. He start from nine o'clock in the morning, but the shadow not move from the sun. Uh, uh, follow the sun. The lady who take care of the, the prince, supply. What happened about you? I'm sitting meditation. You sitting meditation? Yes, right. And then the lady who take care of him call his father, the king, Sudodana. Come here, come here, look at your prince. It's a make miracle. The prince, uh, the king come. Oh, yes, right. My son, make miracle. The chair do not move. Oh, supply. The king pay homage to the son at that time. He thought, Oh, I must do meditation like this. After he, he said for him, I must do like this. When he's thinking about meditation, he concerned. When he was at two teachers, Uttagadabot, Arala Dabot is two teacher. Taught him. He can attend um, five jhana, six jhana, seven jhana, and another teacher, maybe Uttaka Dabot, he attend eight jhana. Means the mind going inside visible body. This love body, we can touch. Invisible body, 
we can't touch, we can't see. We go to invisible body when we sleep. When we sleep, nothing, not feeling about body, like a die. That means the mind go into invisible body. Right? Uh, he, he agree with me. A lie. <laughs> you don't say again. <laughs> oh, he agree with me. Okay, continue. <coughs> when he think like that, oh, I must give up the way to practice like that and come back to uh, Bodhagaya. And then he practiced for six years. He realized about do meditation from six, six evening until three o'clock in the morning. Three hours he practiced meditation. Mala, Mara come to his mind. Mara is obstacle, many obstacles come to his mind. Many, many, many make him torture about his body, oh, painful fire, like a fire, hot in his body. When he do meditation, oh, very painful, oh, very hot in my body, how? And then he thinking of the previous he practiced at the young kid, I mentioned. Oh, I must calm down. And then he get peace. When he get peace, he think back, means wisdom appear inside. And then he can Remember what he was means Puphe Niwasan Stiyan. Puphe Niwasan Stiyan means wisdom, uh, the previous life, many life. Long time ago, 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, million years like this. Oh, I was born, died, and uh, was born a reincarnation, many, 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 many can be man, can be angel, can be dragon, can be any bird, can be any insects. Oh, all of them more suffering. And then, only me or not, like this, reborn again, only me or not. And then he do meditation again. At the time, one yana means jutup, jutup patayan. Means he will write about not only him, rebirth, many kinds of animals, many kinds of insects, many kinds of people, rebirth again and again, all of them suffer about life. Depart from husband, depart from wife, depart from tertiary, depart from money or status or anything. All of them suffer about life. Not happy. Happy a few minutes and they turn to suffer again and again. Oh, not only me. Other people the same. Understand or no? Okay? Okay, good. And then, in the from 6 o'clock until 9 o'clock in the evening, from 9 o'clock until noon, midnight. After midnight, Aswak Khajayan will rise. That time, I call in Pali language, Aswak Khajayan means give up defilement. Give up defilement. Because when he do meditation like this. He deep inside and 
wisdom appear in his mind is not normal. It's the supreme wisdom. Not the same as. It's supreme wisdom. When he got that wisdom, he think about what I am, who am I? He separate himself. Earth is mine. Water is mine. Fire is mine. Wind is mine. No. If not mine, why you attach it? Oh, I decide. What do you decide? Not belong to you. Why you decide? And then he separate again and again and again and again until he can give up. Oh, you, you give me well, three hours. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Just 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's <this is> very good. <laughs> okay, two minutes. Okay. After that, he become a enlightened one. After he become a enlightened one, he you all of you understand already. He hmm, sitting for seven day and stand standing look at the body tree seven day like this moving seven weeks. After that, he look for who is should give the first sermon. Who is Theravada, Mahayana? No, it's very, very low quality. Who is? Oh, five attendants. Where? Where he is? Oh, where, where they are? Oh, Berandes. He moved from body tree, walking 15 days, arrived at Berandes. Why attendance? Oh, why? You come here. Oh, why you come here? You would like me to take care of him again? You take, take, take care of him again? No, no, I come here to teach you. No, I don't believe you. Believe me, I'm Allah already. No. I said to you, this word I said to you before, <clears throat> listen to me, listen to me. I said, I would like to teach you. This word I said to you before, no, that's why I would like to steal you. After that, he teach. After that, he teach Dhammajakka Pavatana Sutta. Too extremely, don't do. I trust myself, it's terrible. And the second, Loba. Addition to send pressure of indentions. Because it's the same lay people. Now you are ascetic or you are a monk. You are ascetic. Don't do like that. If you do like that, you have a wife, you have children, you have church, all oh, many attach you. It cannot move to be a monk away from them. Okay, monks. And then he said, the eight phone pass, one right understanding. The same monk who live here, who stand here, mentioned to you already. And then I would like to explain more about this. Why Buddha said like this? He mentioned about he He mentioned about Dhamma Chakka Patana Sutta. One of monks, five attendants, Venerable Gondanya, the dust free, stainless vision of Dhamma, and said, whatever is subject to origination is on subject to cessation, means Yang Kin Kisamudaya Dhamma. Jangkin kisumutaya tamang sabantang niro tamanti. It means whatever is subject to origination is on subject to cessation. Oh, Buddha said, Oh, I am God. I witness. 
you are real life like me. You see the way to go to Nibbana like me. Oh, great man. Anya si wata po kon tanyo. Anya si wata po kon tanyo. But Mahayana Theravada, no. Right now. Because they are closed eye. Hmm. If they are open eye, they will be real rise. Okay or no? You are asleep? <laughs> Not any question. The sleep is silent. <laughs> Or no, you're silent. <laughs> Very good. Oh, okay. Answer like this. I'm happy. <laughs> and then, and then, Buddha know about Gondanya. Attain Sotapanna already. Why four monks not attain Sotapanna? What happened about them? Oh, I give so much different idea. He look one by one. Keep means doctor see who who is suffer about disease. What disease of you? If general uh, diagnose diagnose is not sure, must uh, select one by one. Come here, Papa. Come here. I know. Keep sp uh, special words. Which keep special word? He know. Medicine to cure him. When he cure special word, Papa, real right. Like this. And then five attendants become Sotapanna. After that, Buddha would like all of them to be Arahan. He said the second sermon mean Anatta Lakana Sutta. He signal me to stop. I just stop. Okay. Thank you, Dan Doctor a Kanti Palo Pico. Uh, sorry for a short uh, time visit. We allow you quite a lot, but it's very interesting to very good introduction to the area of this the. Uh, the Eightfold Path is really important for all of us uh, see the technique that he uh, teach uh, the people to understand. We have limited time to talk. I would like to give another short break to give to individuals to have to last staying. At least two monks have, if they like to say something before we're going to have the closing ceremony and also maybe take feedback. So it may be good for Mirabu Kantipalo. He would like to say, uh, add on his uh, speech a little bit for two minutes. And also, please be prepared for one minute or two minutes to be able to conclude your, uh, uh, summarize your talk for today. And I am pleased that all of us here we will be prepared to do for next step our work in the future. Thank you. I would like to brief about the four noble truths. One is dukkha. Dukkha means changeable. One can see that everything is changing all the time. The sun moving. The air is moving, the fire is moving. That means changeable. Samudaya means the cause of suffering, origin of suffering. It is cause of changing, unstable. If this is stable, there will be no changing. So Samudaya is the thing which is not stable. Either table, chair, everything. When then the summer, winter, rainy, droughts, windy, all changeable. So that the cause of changing is instability. Instability. Neuroda, understanding the changeable. If we understand, we have no doubt how the cause, the, the doubt. We have to understand first 
then we have no doubt. For example, when people say, it's cool, we do not know. It is cool until you are in contact with the cold. This means like that. So, the maka means the past leading to understand of changing. For example, we know why it is cold like this. If we know, we take a blanket, we take our heater to make our warm like this. So, the last conclusion is mean to understand the mind, we have to realize that there are dukkha, which everything is changeable. Samudaya, the cause of changing. Everything is unstable. Niroda, we understand that everything is unstable. We have to know doubt. Maka, the way to know and understand things are changeable by practicing the four, or by practicing the no eight phone pass. Okay, I think all of you understand about briefly. If you don't understand, go to read the Pitaka, then you understand. Sato. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, both of the speakers.